Welcome, welcome, guys. Please like, comment, and subscribe. We made lovely Jamaican spice buns with the help of the children at Science Church. My name is Jackie, and my lovely helpers for today is called Martha and Nevea. They help me in the kitchen to make beautiful, smelling, and tasting Jamaican spice buns. First, you need two containers, one for the dry ingredients and one for the wet ingredients. I shared out one cup of brown sugar because I don't want the buns to be too sweet. So right now I'm just opening the self-raising flour and I'm going to use three cups of self-raising flour and put it into the dry ingredients container. Because we are making six buns, we ended up doubling up on our ingredients. So we ended up using three more cups of self-raising flour, two more spoons, tablespoons of nutmeg, as we're making six buns. Next, I'm going to add two tablespoons of nutmeg to the self-raising flour and use my wooden spoon to stir and mix the two ingredients together. Moving on to my second container with the wet ingredients, my one cup of sugar, I am now pouring in one glass of dragon stout and one glass of malt. Some people use malt, dragon stout or guineas. It's your choice which one you prefer. We are using the whisk to mix out the grains of the brown sugar, combining the ingredients together. We have Martha here doing a great job cutting the red sweet cherries in half for the final touches of the Jamaican spice bun. We have Nevea doing a great job whisking away the grains, the grains from the sugar. I am now pouring in some molasses. You see how it's thick and it's slow? We have a joke in Jamaica saying you're, you're slow like molasses going uphill. This is molasses. Now we are going to pour in some vanilla extract the white vanilla and the black vanilla extract. It doesn't matter the amount you put in, but I would say we'll put in two teaspoons of each. But it's all to your taste. Now we've got the red label wine. Yes! And look at both young ladies' face looking at the container like, what's in the container? What's in the container? Well, this is homemade and it's got orange peel and oil inside it we finished whisking out the sugar grains properly we are now putting the dry ingredients into the wet ingredients and we are going to fold the ingredients and mix them together combine them make it smooth take out all the lumps gently put it in the flour little by little and fold it in. Teamwork makes the dreams work, yeah! <laughs> Mixing can be very hard work. I did speed up the video, so don't please, please don't think that this is the speed that we're doing it at. Great work, ladies! The mixture is looking so smooth. The smell in that kitchen is gorgeous right now. The essences, the flavors, the ingredients. Woo! Our mixture is nice and smooth, so I'm now placing them into placing the mixture into the parchment papers. They are now placing the half cherries on top of the Jamaican spice buns. If you don't like cherries, you don't have to use cherries. It's all your preference. If you like raisins, you could have it in there. But we like cherries, so we just have them on top. Woohoo! Look how the bun them pretty now. Jeez! To check if your buns are baked all the way through, you use a knife. And if the knife comes back out the middle of the bun clean, that means it's cold. It's baked. The buns were in the preheated oven for 1 hour and 15 minutes. Now we are coating it with the glaze. So this is just half a cup of water and half a cup of brown sugar mixed on the hob for 5 seconds. And you use a pastry brush. 
and brush it onto your buns. Thank you guys for taking your time out and watching. See you soon.